The minimum age of criminal responsibility is changed from 9 years old to 12 during the second reading of the bill that would lower the minimum age of criminal responsibility. The change happened just before House Bill or HB 8858 was put to a vote at the plenary Wednesday, January 23. The latest move aligns the House version of the bill with the two being deliberated in the Senate. Lawmakers give their nod to the House bill through Viva Voce voting or a vote of eyes and nays Wednesday, just two days after the House Committee on Justice approved the bill. The lower chamber spent only two session days for plenary debates on the controversial bill, which minority lawmakers say treats children as scapegoats for the government's failing peace and order campaign. Lawmakers against the measure say the government should focus more on addressing the reasons why children break the law in the first place, including poverty as well as high prevalence of crime and drug abuse. But the voices of these lawmakers were left unheard by the rest of their colleagues, who ended up backing HB 8858 because Speaker Gloria Arroyo and President Rodrigo Duterte are supporting it. With its second reading approval, HB 8858 is only one final reading away from hurdling the House vote. Senate President Tito Soto, another Duterte ally, says his chamber would prioritize the passage of its version of the bill. Unofficial results from the city's board of canvassers show that Isabela City in Basilan votes not to join the proposed Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao or BARM. Isabela City had been another key Mindanao area to watch during the plebiscite because of the heated debate there about the issue of joining BARM. In Cotabato City, where tensions were at the boiling point, the yes votes won in the end. But Cotabato City Mayor Cynthia Guiani Sayadi disputes the unofficial results of the Bangsamoro plebiscite in her city, claiming it the not reflect the true will of the people. The mayor says she intends to file a protest before the Commission on Elections or COMELEC and a manifestation on the discrepancy in the certificate of canvas on the city's votes. The night before, the city plebiscite board of canvassers declared that a majority of Cotabato voters want the city to become part of the envisioned BARM. The votes in favor of BARM inclusion stood at 36,682, beating the no votes by 11,688. There was a voter turnout of 54%. President Donald Trump sends a message to Democrats who hope he'll relent in the political arm wrestling that has the federal government shut down for 32 days. No cave. Trump still blames congressional Democrats for the chaos, insisting he will not lift his shutdown unless they approve his $5.7 billion plan for more walls along the U.S.-Mexican border. Trump tweets, Without a wall, our country can never have border or national security. With a powerful wall or steel barrier, crime rates and drugs will go substantially down all over the U.S. The Dems know this but want to play political games. Trump triggered a partial government shutdown on December 22 as a way of pressuring the Democratic majority in the House of Representatives to back the wall project. But Democrats are refusing to give in, and Trump is sticking to his hardball tactics. The political paralysis in Washington becomes a growing day-to-day -day pain across the country as some 800,000 federal employees adjust to life without salaries. 11-year-old Filipino-American Angelica Hale makes history as the first contestant to receive the Golden Buzzer twice on America's Got Talent. Hale receives the coveted Golden Buzzer from Judge Howie Mandel after performing Rachel Platten's fight song as a contestant on America's Got Talent The Champions, the show's all-star season. Getting the Golden Buzzer means Hale automatically advances to the final round of the competition. Hale first wowed the judges when she joined Season 12 of the talent show in 2017, soaring through the competition for a second place finish. She got her first golden buzzer during that season from Judge Chris Hardwick after she performed Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire. America's Got Talent The Champions features winners, finalists, and standouts from previous seasons of America's Got Talent and around the world. Roma grabs 10 Oscar nominations and scores several firsts in the process, including first Spanish language film nominated for Best Picture, and the first nominations for streaming giant Netflix in the directing, original screenplay, foreign language film, and Best Picture categories. Filmed in Spanish and the indigenous Mixtec language, set in Mexico City in the 1970s, and filmed in black and white, Roma is not supposed to be the kind of movie that finds huge success in the United States, especially not in the Mexico bashing era of President Donald Trump. The officially hostless 91st Academy Awards show is happening on February 24 at Hollywood's Dolby Theater.